hi everyone and welcome in the previous video we have covered that how we can read the data from Morbus TCP device by creating Morbus client module in the neuron also we have covered that how we can read backnet IP device data by creating backnet client module in the neuron okay so we can read data from different different devices from the field using the neuron but now what we want to do is if you want to deliver that data over the OPC UA protocol to any other SCADA system or any other MES or ERP system then how you can do that okay so here is the architecture of neuron so neuron can read or get the data from this much of method it can be Morbus, OPC UA, OPC DA, DNP, MQTT, SQL, API or BACnet okay so neuron has a capability to read the data from this much of method and we have already covered that how you can read the data from opc ua server and how you can read the data from Morbus tcp device also we have covered that how you can read the data from backnet ip device now we want to convert this data to opc ua data so one of my scada system is requesting all this data over the OPC UA. So if I am reading the data on the OPC UA in the neuron, then I can directly use that endpoint URL in my SCADA system to read the OPC UA data. But what for Modbus and BACnet? So if any SCADA system want to read the data of Modbus device, but not on the Modbus protocol, but on the OPC UA protocol, then in that case, neuron can help. Okay. Also, if SCADA system want to read the data of BACnet device, but not on the BACnet protocol, but on the OPC UA protocol, then also Neuron can help. So, we will see in this video that how Neuron can create its own OPC UA server to expose all the data collected by all the data acquisition method. So, Neuron will collect all the data from this much of data acquisition method and then it will expose that data to OPC UA server for any other application or any other services uh, to have that data. Okay, so I hope this thing is clear. And here you can see in the neuron node in the real time, you can see I am reading the data from my backnet IP device. You can see the data is updating. Also, I am reading the data from my Modbus TCP device. Now I want to expose this data to OPC US server. So any of my OPC UA client can read that data. So suppose I am using UA expert. Okay to verify that I am having data on OPC UA server or not. Then we have to do some configuration in the neuron so that it can, you know, expose this data to OPC UA server. So how it can be done? So first of all, we have to create our own OPC UA server inside the neuron. So we will go to the config section here. Okay. Now in the config section, we will go to the modules and here we will create a new module, which is our OPC UA server. And here I'm going to select the module type as OPC UA server. Okay. So here is the module type OPC UA server and we are going to save it. You can see we have few things which is not saved. So we will click here. So first of all, we have to configure our OPC UA server on which network interface it will run. What will be the TCP port for communication? and what will be the security policy message more anonymous is true or false everything we have to specify or configure here so let's see one by one so first of all you have to set up the network interface on which network interface you are going to configure your opc ua server so i'm not going to configure on my local host instead of i'm going to configure on my wi-fi adapter interface so here is my wi-fi adapter i'm going to configure on this ip address okay now the TCP port for communication is 3005, which is default. I'm going to leave it as it is. Now, if you want to allow the anonymous connection, okay, from anonymous user, then you have to select this as a yes. Now, if you want to disable the uh, OPC UA endpoint URL discovery, then you can disable it by selecting yes, but we don't want to disable it, okay? After that, we have to set the security policy and the message more settings. So I'm going to enable the security policy none. I'm also going to enable all the security policies okay and in the server we are not going to touch anything okay and in the store and forward also we are not going to touch anything as of now and we will click on the save button okay so that is fine now if you expand here then we have few more things which is not saved or you can say unsaved so I'm not going to create any user for my uh, OPC US server so I'm going to save this thing as it is okay without creating any role 
and in the method also i'm not going to select any model or any method that is why i'm also clicking on the save button to leave it as it is now our opc us server is up and running okay and our opc us server is running on this ip address and this port number so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the ua expert i'm going to click on this plus icon and uh, here in the discovery button what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the right click edit url and here you can see the url of my wi-fi interface okay and here is the port number where my opc us server is running so i'm going to press ok here and it will browse all the available opc us server on that interface and that port so you can see neuron opc us server is available with non-security policy and other security policies as well so now i can connect with my opc us server which i have created inside the neuron but if you want to disable this much of policies okay then how you can do it so you can again go to the neuron node here you can disable all the policies and you can save it and you can go back to ua expert you can right click and rebrowse and here you can see we have only one policy which is none okay now i'm going to double click here to connect it it will ask me to trust the server certificate so we are going to click here trust the server certificate and then we will press on continue okay here you can see our opc us server is connected and here is the entire address space of our opc us server if you open these two things parallelly then in the real time we have a folder of backnet ip and the modbus tcp same folder you have available here so the data of backnet ip you can uh, read it using opc ua server okay so we have successfully converted the backnet data to opc ua so any of my scada system mes erp any other system can read my backnet device data over the opc ua protocol also the same system can read my modbus tcp device data on the opc ua protocol you can see here modbus tcp and here also modbus tcp so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag and drop this two tag and i'm going to drag and drop this entire folder okay now you can check these two things parallelly you can check the value of indoor temperature and water temperature okay also you can check the values of this modbus tcp device okay i can change the value like 55 and you will see that here okay so basically so whatever data acquisition method we are using in the neuron to collect data from the field devices it will transfer that data on the opc ua server so any of opc ua client wants to get the data they can have the data okay so basically what we have done is we have used neuron to collect data from modbus tcp device and we have used neuron to expose that data on the opc ua server so any of the software can have the data and the same way we have done for the backnet okay and the same way you can do for opc ua opc da dnp mqtt sql for siemens plc for nbdl plc for every other device okay so here you can see we have the continuous data so what you have to do is you have to go to config section first you have to go to modules you have to create opc ua server model inside that you have to select opc ua server as a module type okay then after you have to configure the network interface on which network interface you want to start your opc ua server and on what port okay then after you have to select the security policies and if you want to allow the anonymous user then you have to select yes if you don't want to allow the anonymous user then you can select no okay and number of maximum connection you can allow is 20 you can change the number to change the number of maximum connection okay after that uh, you can go to access if it is not saved also you can go to method if it is not saved and just hit the save button that's it your opc us server is up and running now you can use any scada system any mes any any erp or you can use power bi to get the data from opc us server and you can have a live data of your field devices okay so that is very easy so what we have done is from morbus to opc ua and backnet to opc ua and with the help of any software we can read the data from opc ua that is so simple so i hope this thing is clear and in the next video what we are going to do is we are going to 
disable the allow anonymous user okay so we have to enable the user so instead of any user no one can connect to that opc ua server so that thing we are going to see in the next video so right now we have allow anonymous user true so whenever we want to connect with our opc ua server okay so if i disconnect it here and if i connect here again then it won't ask for any username or password okay but we don't want like that we don't want to allow any anonymous user to connect with our opc ua server and have our data so we want a secure opc ua connectivity so that thing we are going to see in the next video that how you can uh, disable the anonymous user and how you can create your user to connect with your opc ua server so we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you and also you can download the um, node backup from our website okay you can see here is the node backup so you just click here and it will download the node backup for you okay and you can you know restart the backup in your system and you can uh, use our backup without creating your own system okay so it will help you and it will save your time so stay tuned and we will see you in the next video so till then Goodbye.